the screw and the redirection of the guide wire and the tape. We all know it very well. Now here are these are the few expert friends I requested for some examples and I presented them and analyzed them. And here you can see he has presented it and he has done it beautifully. But when you see in a magnified view, the TBI is already angulated. The purpose of the fixation is to get a hundred percent healing and a hundred percent realignment if it is possible. If it is possible, if it is not possible, and if it is only possible 20 80 uh, percent alignment, then it is perfectly all right. But if you can get hundred percent, that is the purpose of both situations. Now here it is. This is an expert who gave this to me, and then when I really did it, you can see it again. The medial side, the, the outer side, is already touching it. It wasn't touching the operation. And that's the reason I feel the nailing is a wonderful operation. I don't think I, anybody can say no about it. But it has its own problems of mal alignment. And as Dr. Navin Thakkar has mentioned, even with all these things, 15 percent mal alignment is a normal thing. Now, why not this? What is the problem? This is also a MIPO surgery where well, you are doing nothing. All what you are doing is a MIPO plate, 100 percent reduction, you are getting it. And there is no reason why you should feel that plating is contraindicated. You only feel plating is contraindicated only thing because you think you are a nailer. Now here it is a plating, you can see everything is perfectly done. Now here you are doing the nailing. And this nailing is, is a big oblique fracture. You do the nailing, it's not going to work. If you add up a plate here, then probably the whole thing will be reduced. So nailing is a wonderful operation. I do not want to comment against it, but I feel that you should do the surgery whichever gives you the unpassable life. Now here are the few examples which I've been treating. And you can see this. This is the fracture. You do a plating and this is failures. Everything is perfectly normal. So if you can get a perfectly normal by nailing, there is no harm, no problem. If you do it by a um, suprapatellar approach, that's very good. It only helps in reduction. But not necessarily you will get a 100% reduction all the time. Now here you can see it. Oblique fracture or a rotational deformity. Perfect anatomy restoration is always perfect. Now we are only talking about nailing. Or we are talking about treatment. The treatment is perfect anatomy restoration and that is the only way in which we can do it. So my suggestion is try nailing. If you cannot get it, change over to plating. Do not your do not your ego come in the way that you cannot do the plate nailing, which Shiva can do it, Garikuni can do it, and everybody else can do it. Here was one of the friends who got really mesmerized by the hypnotic talks of the excellent people and he did the nailing. After all those situations, this is the position in which he is. Unfortunately, obviously, this went into non -union. So, with all these block screws, still not anatomical all the time. So, anatomical reduction is the main thing which you must pay at. By nailing or by plating is perfectly all right. Plating is a very simple operation. 99% of the orthopedic surgeons do it very easily. Can do this operation, all what you need is a small plate that up and down, and you will be able to get 100% reduction in this plate. Or this is the nailing, which has been anatomically, it's a good one, for the screw was there, and every the reduction has come. But as you can see here, this is the medullary cavity of the proximal area. This is the medullary cavity of the proximal area, the distal area. And there is no connection, so it is only by these two, three porous, two, three screws or the porous screw. And three screws distally, which is being done. So it went into non union. Again, easily it can be treated with the plating with 100% anatomy. You store two years' time, things are improved. So initially it came on, you go to the intra articular, and new thoughts of nailing came into picture. You go intra articular and do the lateral nailing, and that was the lateral point of entry and proximal post semi extended position for nailing with the suprapatellar nail posterior most entry point, all those situations have come to improve the nailing. And I agree, it has improved the nailing. Nailing has the best advantage is the skin problem. 
if you have a skin problem, skin edema, the nailing will want the job. But if in case it is not possible, do not hesitate to do upgrading. We all know this slide, super particular nail, just now we have seen it. Proximity wear fractures are hard to nail, even with an experienced hand. Ah, I changed the laptop. Oh, there is connection. No, no, there is connection of connection from internet ka problems either. Oh. Ah. Nail in extension and use the blocking screw, then only the nailing is open. Because in particular, proximity via fracture treatment with nailing and plating, <laughs> rates of non union of either treatment. Treated by inflammatory nail experience, more mal union or a compartment syndrome than treated by plating. Implant failure occur only in patients treated by intramedullary nailing. So intramedullary nailing is also having its own problems. The plate has the problem of a skin, skin nailing. If you have to do the open nail, open plating, probably it's a skin nailing. So MIPO plating, if you can execute, they still better. The incidence of bar reduction was substantially decreased as blocking screws and temporary plating, universal distractor and semi-extended position was coming to the picture. But still, Somebody upstairs had a PD on the average surgeon like me. And nailing, 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 which was being sold, and introduced the locking plate in the treatment of this complex PDVR fracture. What is the problem with the office? We can get this easier surgery with no patient skill. Tourists, as they call themselves, it is sacrilege if you do not do nailing on these fractures with multiple blocks and motor screws, as they call it. We surgeons like to flaunt our skills. And difficult implant operations, if we can execute well, it is better if it's a perfect restoration. Interlockers would like to call this fracture in that category if they must be named. Or like me, how I flaunt 95 degree plate, plate as a better implant because I can execute it better. And I ridicule those who want to do ECS. I am also in the same group. We are the surgeons, egoistic rascals. We want to show about our skills. So in conclusion, attend every educative nail squad meeting. Do plating, which gives you better results in your hand. There is a page one here, beautifully written this. There is limited clinical evidence to show a clear advantage with plating or nailing of the proximity of facts. Both options remain valid. Surgeon familiarity with the technical aspects of each approach, implant limitations, and soft tissue factors may be contributory in the decision making process. Now, here, as you can see, nailing is done till some amount of a mild union is bound to happen, and there is, because of the movement, it has gone into non union. So, in conclusion, interlocking may give good results, often it may not be perfect. And perfect restoration to anatomy assures perfect results. If one has the skill of the other faculty here, one must do a polar screw and a nail and a supracondylar nail and hope minor excess deviation. If one is an average surgeon like me and too fussy about the final result, giving you over to plating in time and relax. Right? But do not insist on completing the nailing. If you think it's not coming perfectly, go ahead and do a plating. Attend every educative nail squad meeting, but do a plating. Thank you very much.